awesome. Good evening, everyone. This um, this is another beautiful Friday. As always, we are here to zoom in on Kara, your health coach notebook. I hope you have your notebook. I hope you have a pen so that we can do what we usually do every Friday. My name is Kara Nyamburanganga. I am your health coach. And um, it is an honor, it's a pleasure to have you today. It, it, it's amazing to have you today. So um, two things have happened in the past few hours. Uh, there is a video that has just uh, been updated on, on, on YouTube. We will update it on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, it's uh, I'm hosted by Plus254 Food. 254 Food. And it is amazing. It's beautiful. You should see it. We are talking about juices and smoothies. And I'm excited about it. So after this, you can go to 254 Food YouTube and you will be able to find this. But we will also upload it on our YouTube channel. The second thing that has happened today, we have just not today, a few less than an hour ago, God has blessed us with our fourth bouncing baby, miracle baby. The miracle babies that we talk about, these are babies who God has given us after everyone had written off uh, the parents, either the mom or the dad. In this case, today's baby, uh, the baby we have just received, the dad had been written off. He had no sperm at all. By the time the doctors had, were writing him off, they had said uh, he cannot produce sperm. We met, uh, I've actually never met him physically. I've only been talking to the wife. And we were able to give him the right food, the right lifestyle. And in few months, his sperm count went up. And today we have just received our fourth miracle baby. This year has been beautiful. We've been blessed with four miracle babies. And uh, so we have all the reasons to celebrate. Uh, we have another reason to celebrate because I last week I did 18 kilometers uh, run, walk. I don't know which one I did last week. But today I've been able to persevere. I got an injury. But I've been able to persevere and again, I've done another 18 kilometers. So please don't ask me where the glow is coming from. It is all about physical exercise. It's all about taking care of yourself. It's all about loving yourself and being excited. So we have all the reasons to be thanks. So if you have reasons to give thanks to God, kindly go to our chat box and just write there. What are you thankful for today? What is it that you're thankful for? And uh, that's the beginning point of our Friday, our Zoom session, where we just interact with Carol, our health coach, and we learn something, something new or something we knew, and uh, we just needed someone to remind us. So today we are looking at arthritis. Arthritis. Everyone is talking about arthritis. Um, growing up, some of us believe that arthritis affects only the young, the older people. We did not, um, we did never, not ever imagine that we can you know, be victims of arthritis. But these days we have seen changes and we are seeing that some of some young people are being diagnosed with arthritis. So let us ask ourselves, what is this arthritis that we keep talking about? When someone, when you go to hospital and you're told you have arthritis, what are we talking about? So this is when um, a joint, two joints or three joints or different types of joints. Remember, we have different joints in our body. And that arthritis comes up when there is an inflammation that is in between the joints. Uh, so remember, we have the fingernails, the, the wrist, the, the shoulder blade, uh, the spine, the legs. We have so many joints. So when we talk about arthritis, we're talking about an inflammation of that joint, of that specific or two, specific, or two different joints. And normally it causes different things. Uh, depending on the stage and depending on the type of arthritis that you're talking about. So it can cause numbness. It can cause like, you know that pain of, you feel like you're being injected with needles. Um, yes, we say it in Swahili, tusindano. You feel some tusindano. So when that happens, uh, those are some of the early stages of arthritis. And I will differentiate the different types of arthritis that we have. Uh, for today, we will look at three different ones. We will start with the milder one, which if, uh, by milder, I'm not minimizing the kind of pain that someone goes through when they are having it, but I'm saying that it, if it is not full-blown. 
And so if it is caught early, it can be we can be able to reverse it. So the first one that I'll talk about is gout. G O U T gout. Uh mostly we know it it has been associated with men and uh, when a man is diagnosed with gout, initially uh, there are some people who will experience the thumb, the fingers, some will have the knees, uh, others will have the ankle or the toenails, the, the toes, not toenails, the toes. So it depends on the different different factors that cause uh, whatever arthritis that we are talking about. So gout is mostly known to be with men. And initially we used to say it is only for the young men, the older men. But it keeps changing because now our lifestyle has changed. Because one of the main causes of gout is high uric acid. When we talk about uric acid, and I keep talking about this, uric acid is produced after proteins undergo metabolism. So when the proteins undergo metabolism, they produce uric acid. Uric acid is good for your body. Your body should have enough uric acid. When you have lower amount, it is a problem. When you have higher amount, it's a problem. Because when the, you have lower amount, your kidneys are not able to function properly. When the, the, the uric acid is super high, again, it becomes a problem for the liver and the kidney. So uric acid is not the poison. The poison is when it is overproduced or underproduced. So how is this uric acid overproduced? One is by over excess consumption of protein. When you excessively, excessively pro, um, consume proteins, it means then that the metabolism will be able to rise to the uric acid. So now that is taking me to a point where I'm explaining why most men, when they are diagnosed with uh, gout, the first thing that the doctor tells them is to reduce or completely remove nyama, the, the red meat. You know that our men, especially our African men, have this tendency of uh, they have to go to um, the gentle, they call it the gentleman's club. So where they, where they, 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 they will eat nyama and take some alcohol in the evening, uh, so that they can feel, you know, they can feel good about it. So these two things that I've mentioned, the alcohol and the nyama, uh, causes them to produce, to overproduce, high, to have high cholesterol and uh, high uric acid, which are the risk factors of gout. Again, something else, another cause of gout is lack of physical exercise. If someone is very dormant, if you are not physically engaging the joint and you have high uric acid and high bad cholesterol, definitely you will have a challenge. So one thing that I'm saying again about gout, gout is as a result of a lifestyle change. So if you can be able to change your lifestyle, minimize on the uh, red meat production, the proteins yeah let's just say the, the the protein you know like it doesn't mean that you eat nyama from morning to evening monday to monday 24 hours seven you so you know breakfast with nyama lunch with nyama there are people who tell me but i grew up without nyama so why um why should i eat food without nyama you are doing yourself more harm than good so gout is gout is one of the diseases i've seen men come to me and they are crying like children because when it is advanced when it has progressed it is painful it is super super painful that man is in pain his knees his thumbs or whatever it is whatever is affected it is very painful so when we talk about this gout what are the remedies of you know either preventing or managing gout so for someone who is presenting, this is someone who's not been diagnosed and they think they could be going towards that direction. The first remedy is make sure you have a healthy weight. Healthy weight is very important, not just for the gout, but for your entire life. For the body functioning, you need healthy weight. A weight that is, you know, most people are obese or they are overweight. So when that happens, you're not able to, your body function is not able to be, uh, to be the normal processes that we are used to. The second remedy that you can do to prevent or even to manage gout is drink plenty of water. I always insist about drinking plenty of water. Water, water, water. Why? Because in between your joints, the cushion that is in between all your joints is water. So if you do not drink enough water, the cushion 
come, you know, like the the bone the, the bones will come to will have a friction because they will interact with each other, and that friction will cause inflammation. So you need to drink water. What else do you need to do? You need to engage in physical activity. Engage those joints. Engage that body. Let let yourself move. Keep moving. Whenever you move, uh, you encourage even the synoptic fluid to be produced. You encourage the body to live um, a happy life. You are also helping the blood flow. You know, move because uh, I'll talk take you, take you back to the to the weight issue. When you are overweight, even your nervous system is affected. So the first symptom of the three types of arthritis that we are talking about today is numbness. So when you're feeling numb in any part of your body, it means that your nervous system is interfered with. When your nervous system is interfered with, it is not able to transport transport to communicate to the, the body and transfer the information that the neurons and the nerves are supposed to be transferring. So when you're overweight, even your nerves are, you know, pressed by either your the bad cholesterol or the high fat or whatever it is, your nervous system is interfered with. When your nervous system is interfered with, then it means then you will have the numbness, you will eventually have the inflammation. So it is important to have a healthy day. So for gout, we are saying that we look at our diet, we minimize the protein, the protein intake. This, this, this bad, bad, bad beer I see with men, uh, when they are drinking and uh, they drink beer, which is another form of starch, uh, which is adding some extra calories in their body. Then they eat some nyama. Then they will eat it with some big bugali. And some meat is to body. That is, I mean, your diet is not the best. When you go home, um, when there is food, good food you don't want to eat, you say, I, would, I, uh, I took some yama. That needs to change. When we talk about, we talk about the diet, we need to drink water, we need to minimize protein intake, we need to reduce the starch intake for the, of, to, be, to manage our weight. Number two, we need to be physically active, engage with, engage the joints, engage the muscles, engage every part of your body, and you will be surprised that even your weight will disappear. The other thing that we talked about, we have just talked about, is now making sure that you drink enough water and making sure that the inflammation, if if there is inflammation, if already you've been diagnosed with gout, some things that you can be able to do at home, you can do an Epsom Epsom salt. But I always talk about Epsom salt. I always talk about Epsom salt because it's able to provide you with magnesium that you need. And you will be able to calm down the nerves, calm down the system, calm down. Just yes, calm you down. Uh, you can also uh, get black seed oil. Black seed oil really helps with the, with the inflammation. Uh, before I conclude, I'll show you for all these products that I'm talking about. Uh, then you can be able to, uh, if the inflammation, if you are in so much pain, you can take the black seed oil helps with the pain management. Turmeric, ginger, garlic, cinnamon, make them your friend and you will thank me later. Now that is to a man who could be struggling with gout. Gout is reversible. Gout is something that you can be able to change. If we boost your immunity, we manage our weight and we observe our lifestyle. Arthritis number two. And remember, I invite you to ask me questions on our chat box. Any question that you have, any comments, go to our chat box and you can I'll be able to see it. Then we can be able to talk about what to talk about whatever it is that uh, you would want us to talk about. There's two other types of there are two there is now the arthritis, and someone will go to the hospital and they are told you have OA or RA. You know, you'll find it written on that note. It is rheumatoid arthritis and osteo. That one that is confusing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Osteo. Paul. Allow me to check, to check how to pronounce it because I don't even know how to pronounce it. 
as we continue now, as I get to know how to pronounce it, uh, we will talk. Ab- we will talk about the two types of uh, arthritis and what the difference is. The difference is the body part that. Uh, uh, osteo- osteoarthritis osteoarthritis so osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis yes i'm pronouncing it yes i'm just checking from my laptop because i need to be very sure so the spelling is o s t e o arthritis o s t e o arthritis so now Osteoath- let's start with the one that I'm not, I was not able to pronounce. Osteoarthritis, it affects the cartridges. So the best example I can give is when you're eating chicken uh, and you're eating maybe the thigh or uh, whatever part and it has two joints. In between, now the in between the two joints, there's always that crunchy part of the bone that my brother Kemani and I used to fight we used to fight i mean there was always a fight in my house when we were growing up because we were fighting to eat that part that is crunchy that that one the cartridge cartridge is ah uh, what can i say what can i i i say i will use the layman's language it's like it's a layer that is in between two joints it's a layer that is in between two joints that is helping you know with to to prevent the inflammation to to be able to help the bones be able con- to consume the nutrients that they need. And so osteoarthritis affects the cartilages and mostly the lower part of the body. The lower part of the body. So when this cartridge is affected and when it has lost its strength, it allows two bones to keep crashing. And when they crash, they cause inflammation. When that inflammation is caused, there is so much pain, there is swelling sometimes even um, there is water retention some people will tell you i have so you will find someone with a very swollen knee or swollen ankle because as a result of arthritis why do why do they have the swelling sometimes it is because of the lower amount of uric acid that the kidney has and it's not able to um, that the body has that interferes with the kidney function so there is some bit of uh, for lack of a better word, let's say water retention. Yes. So then the rheumatoid arthritis, it affects especially the upper part of the body, the shoulder blades, the wrist, the elbow. Yes, we call it elbow. Yes, elbow, um, thumbs, fingers, and uh, sometimes there's, it just starts with numbness. All these things, all the three different types of arthritis that we talked about, they mostly numbness. They will just you feel numbness and you just ignore. You feel numbness, you just ignore. Yeah? I'm sorry, I have confused you one with one thing. Osteo, o, osteoarthritis affects the upper body. Rheumatoid arthritis affects the lower body. I'm sorry about that. Please let me repeat that again. The osteoarthritis affects the upper body, the hands, the shoulders, the wrist, the elbow and the rheumatoid arthritis the, the lower body. So when you start with numbness, you ignore the numbness. It progresses to something like pain. It also happens that you get numb when it is very cold. That is also a symptom that something is not working. Something is not going on. If it gets very cold or sometimes very hot, there are people who are affected. I met one uh, last week on Wednesday. When it's very hot, they become very numb which is um, a condition that we'll talk about, uh, some, it's an in, in autoimmune disease that we'll talk about now next time. So when it's, it, it starts getting cold, uh, or for example, you are uh, barefoot and you step on the tiles and you start feeling you are realizing your numb, please just take caution. Remember uh, that you need to nourish your body with uh, minerals like calcium, Remember, calcium is the one that gives us strong bones together. With, they work together closely with vitamin D and they relate with, they are actually, they have a symbiotic relationship. The, none can exist without the other. They work together because if you don't have enough vitamin D, your body will not be able to process enough calcium. 
So when you have low calcium, and that is usually whenever someone has arthritis, when they go to hospital, the first thing they're told is you have a deficiency of calcium because this calcium helps us keep strong bones. But is calcium alone able to heal or manage arthritis? No, it is just one of the many things that you can do to be able to manage arthritis if it is already existing. You can add calcium to the diet, yes. You can add collagen. Collagen is a protein that holds you together, literally holds you together. Uh, you can add collagen to your diet. You can add magnesium to your diet, but that is not enough. You need to help the joints by moving them. You need to help the joints by drinking plenty of water. You need to help your joints by living a healthier lifestyle. If you have excess weight, you have no option when you're managing a crisis. You have to bring it down so that your nervous system can move, your blood flow can be able to uh, to flow well, and then you can be able to manage that arthritis. So there's a question that I always get. Uh, can you heal arthritis? That's a question that I always get. Can you heal arthritis? I say yes and no. One, yes, we can reverse it if it is caught in early stages. Two, we can re be able to reverse it by managing it over a long time, over a period of time, until the body adjusts back to normal. Your age also is a determinant. If someone is super, super old and they have this super, super grown arthritis, we can only help them manage the pain and be able to boost their immunity, and that's all we can be able to do. So uh, someone else will ask, then what am I supposed to add to my diet? What are some of the things that I, I'm supposed to add to my diet to prevent and to manage arthritis? I have several things that you can add to your diet here. Yeah? And I would want to just show you as, I'm, as I, I explain one by one, and then I show you, I, I check what you have in the chat box. So we will start with uh, our usual immune booster. This is our Eden immune booster. Uh, it is able to provide you with all the nutrients that your body needs. And when when your body gets proper nutrients, then you'll be able to sort it out. The other one is something you're very familiar with. My lighting is amazing, but it is not able to show you exactly what they are. This is turmeric powder. This is ginger powder. And they will be able to help you with the inflammation that your body gets. This is garlic powder. So... These three, you don't need it. You don't need them in powder form unless if you cannot access them. So what we have done is that we have created this powder for whoever cannot be able to access the pure organic powder, uh, ginger, garlic, and turmeric. And also we have cinnamon, which I don't seem to have right now. Something else you can add to your diet is pumpkin seed powder, pumpkin seed powder, or you can take the pumpkin seeds themselves. They'll be able to provide you with things. And with uh, with uh, vitamin A, E, and K, they will be able to help balance your hormones and keep your body uh, strong enough. We have flaxseeds. Flaxseeds are able to flaxseeds are able to help your body with the proper fiber, omega three, six, and nine. Because remember, our joints need omega. They need omega to pro to be able to produce the nocio fluid, the one that in Tiku we used to call it the nocio. It's the nocio. Our favorite, our black seed oil, my lighting is not able to let you see what it is, but our favorite is black seed oil. This is, should be a friend. It should be a friend of anyone who has joint pain, any inflammation, any anyone who needs omega. And most definitely you have singing nettle, singing nettle and organic wheat grass, organic wheat grass. With all this, the three of the, the Four of these products that I've talked about, we have the singing nettle, we have wheatgrass, we have spirulina. Spirulina is an algae, spirulina. Uh, we have moringa powder. So the four of them are able to boost your immunity. The four of them are able to make sure that your hemoglobin levels are high. The four of them are able to provide you with calcium that your body needs and provide you with many other nutrients that your body needs. So there are so many other products and I could have, uh, I'm sure I have mentioned few of them in my book. So make sure you get a copy of my book. 
my book is glass of life which is talking about the juices and smoothies and some of the supplements that you can add to your juices and smoothies and when you get this book you'll be able to understand more about juicing and uh, smoothies and the different supplements that i'm talk- always talking about uh, someone has just asked me where do i get the book the book is uh, you can reach out to me at uh, 0711 621563 i'll say that number again plus 2547116215563 it's only 15 dollars 1600 kenyan shillings and 60000 ugandan shillings um so you can get the book so someone else uh, now it's time to answer the questions that we have so that we can be able to um so someone is asking any natural remedies for hypothyroid aha uh, kenneth is asking about hypothyroid so now i will allow me not to meet thyroid function with arthritis because thyroid function is something very 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 important it needs a whole time a whole session for it because our thyroid are very very important so kenneth now that you have challenged us now the next session we will talk about thyroid function so douglas is noting that next week we will talk about thyroid function thank you so much kenneth for that question um janet thank you stanley mary thank you very much our time as our time is ongoing i'm still reading some of these stuff uh-huh where awesome where is our shop in town in Nairobi Town Center we are at Accra Trade Center Accra Trade Center is the building that hosts hot dishes hot dishes hotel we are on second floor our ours is uh, impact botanic impact botanic is where you will find and as you go upstairs you'll see a big sign post that says uh impact botanic we are on second floor room number 13 you will find John or Charity if you need more clarification you can call me and i'll be able to send that information allow me now to share my contact as i celebrate each one of you and uh, we can be able aha uh-huh. well done carol thank you so much thank you thank you thank you lady it is a pleasure and uh, i want to say i don't take it for granted that every friday you take time to come and we have this conversation so to next week we will talk about the thyroid function so be sure to tune in sunny um Douglas Mary Kenneth uh team Uganda team Kenya Janet thank you thank you thank you so much my contact is plus 2547116215563 plus 2547116215563 on Facebook I'm Carol Nganga on Twitter on Instagram I am Carol Nganga on Facebook we are rejuvenating nature's beam rejuvenating which has been be sure to follow us and get just on the platforms and we will be able to respond to you also on twitter on youtube we are rejuvenating nature's been on youtube we are rejuvenating nature's been we have all the reasons to be thankful this is a beautiful beautiful friday and as always i'm humbled i'm humbled by your presence i'm humbled that you tuned in and it took time you gave me one hour so that you can get healthy and stay healthy so thank you very much for tuning in uh, our zoom session is over and i hope that you have learned something be sure to teach someone else thank you so much for your time god bless you and mwah. <laughs>